Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I've been asked to uh, by a person to make a video on this error message when they boot their PC up, and uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that today. So uh, let's have a little look at um, what causes the actual error message. Well, basically, you you can get this. Um, when a drive is converted from FAT32 to NTFS and during the process uh, it corrupts the NTFS.sys file. Also other software or malware corrupts it and deletes the NTFS file. Also overclocking, overheating issues uh, causes it and corruption in the computer memory or memory is uh, in the computer is bad. And then there's other uh, serious file corruption issues and other hardware confliction or issues. They're, they're the main reasons for this um, this problem. Okay. Now, obviously, if it's missing or corrupt, we're going to fix that one by actually swapping out the, the actual, putting the actual new file in. So hopefully, we're not going to be able to cover all these, obviously. But what I'm going to do is the most common one is the file's corrupted or it's missing. So we're going to actually replace that file, okay? So all the other ones you'd have to take that on board and actually try those out yourself because I can't do all those. I only do one at a time. So let's uh, reboot the PC into our recovery console. So you will need uh, you will need an actual Windows CD for this, or you can use the actual um, floppy disks, uh, boot up disks, or you can actually um, or you can actually use the uh, pre-installed environment to copy the files across manually that way okay anyway let's, uh, let's restart this machine and get into recovery console so let me just reboot this there we go Obviously, what I'll do is I'll pause it when it's loading up Recovery Console, so you don't have to sit there and watch it. Okay, so we're just going to load up Recovery Console. Okay, we're nearly loaded up here. So once we get to this uh, option screen, we need to push R to enter Recovery Console, and then once we've got into Recovery Console, we can then start thinking about moving the file over. So we're going to push R at this stage. Okay, push R. Let that load in. Now obviously we're loading in now, so you may see a slightly different look here if you've got dual booting. Um, obviously I've only got one, so I'm going to be pushing one at this stage, because I've only got one operating system. I haven't got a administrator password but if you have one you need to enter it. Okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to change our directory to uh, uh, system32 and then drivers okay so we need to go change directory to uh, system uh, system32 like so backslash and then drivers Like so. so now we're in the actual uh, drivers directory and that's where this file is. So what we need to do is uh, type dir and you'll see the files coming up um, on the screen. Okay. So what we're looking for basically I'm just going to there's another one that fastfat.sys that's another uh, one that causes uh, problems, but there you can see it, ntfs.syst. It's there now. Yours will be corrupted, or it may be missing. Okay, so um, what we can do? Let me just uh, come out of there. Right. So what we need to do now is uh, now we know the file was in there, but obviously we're going to rename that file. Okay. So we're going to go ren ntfs dot sys. Okay. And then also um, space ntfs dot old, and that's going to rename the old um, ntfs file to ntfs dot old. 
OK, so that's done. And then once we've done that, we need to obviously type map because I want to find out what um, letter we've got for our drive. And it's D in this case. So now I know it's D. So we can go copy space D colon backslash I386 backslash NTFS dot syst. OK, and then space. And then we want to put um, C, because that's where it's going, not capital C. You want to go C, um, colon, backslash Windows, and then backslash System32, like so, and then backslash Driver. Oh, sorry, Drivers. So um, once we've done that, we push enter on the keyboard, and that's going to take the file from uh, the actual CD-ROM drive and then put it into that area. And as you can see, it's taken the file, and it's one file copied. OK, so that's that problem fixed, really. So basically, all you need to do now is exit and reboot, and that should be that problem solved if, it's, if the file was corrupted or missing. OK. Obviously, take the CD out. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to let it run on, and Windows should load up just nicely. Okay, my name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. Hope this uh, video has been some use to you. Please leave your comments. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Uh, any requests you got, just send us a message, and I'll do my best to make it for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.